Jeremy Corbyn will try to steal some ground from the Tories today as he gives a speech saying he's not a pacifist and accepts that military action is sometimes needed as a last resort. Well, it follows that leak of Labour's manifesto which included pledges to renationalise re the railways, abolish tuition fees and increase social care spending. Well, joining us now from Westminster is Shadow Secretary of State for International Trade, Barry Gardner. Good morning, Barry. In various papers morning. this morning, yesterday was described as another day of calamity. We know Labour's been described as policies of chaos and confusion. So let's be super clear this morning. I've got a copy of the speech. I assume you're happy for me to have that copy, and it's not another leak. It seems to be pretty widely distributed. Uh, I've got a copy of the speech Jeremy Corbyn's going to make in front of me. It says, if elected Prime Minister, I will do everything necessary to protect the safety and security of our people of our country. What does that mean? What's his cutoff for using nuclear weapons? Because it's not clear. Is it invasion? We know he's, he's had concerns about authorising drone strikes. Have you asked him what his threshold is? Look, I want a prime minister who is going to think very carefully and be reluctant to put our servicemen and women into harm's way. I want a prime minister who is not uh, just going to jump to it the moment the president of the United States snaps their fingers and says, come and join us in a bombing raid. Um, so I welcome what Jeremy has said. He has put the security of the United Kingdom and our people here as his top priority. But he understands that in doing that, we have to tackle some of the crises around the world, um, some of the, the most appalling uh, refugee statistics that we've seen since the Second World War. And, and we know that uh, the Libyan bombing escapade that uh, David Cameron took this country on has, yes, it, it saw the end of Gaddafi, but of course what it's now got in place is women being sold in slave markets in towns in that country. Okay. So I think we have to be very careful about the military interventions that we make.